I believe I shot some here, and um, I watched Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2 last night, actually. I watched it at, like, 3 a.m. right when it came out, but I'm just gonna get right into spoilers. I know you can't really see me right now. It's dark in here, but it's fine, but spoilers in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm just gonna get right into spoilers, so yeah, this this Volume 2 was absolutely phenomenal, bro. It was so, so good, and I am so happy that Steve lived bro i was so worried about steve and i tell you that i was so worried because steve is my favorite character i would have cried so much if he died. i mean i did still cry in these two episodes i'll tell you why but steve is my absolute favorite i would have cried so oh hey you can see me hello i cried a lot i would have cried so much if steve died because i loved him so much and i'm glad he did not die thank goodness steve made it out alive but this episode these two episodes were very very good i liked Chapter 8, I think it was, is called Papa, and um, you've got Brenner with Eleven, and Dr. Owens is like, hey, listen, you gotta go help your friend, or no, she's like, I gotta go help my friends, and he's like, alright, yeah, I'll help you, and Papa's like, no, 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 that's not what you're doing, chief, and then the military comes in, Jonathan, Mike, Will, and Argyle actually find out, like, they find a place, and they're like, alright, we gotta save Eleven, we gotta get out of here, so... You know, they're doing that, and they get out of there. And that was really cool to see, like, Eleven, or Papa is like, I only did this. Oh, no. So Papa, um, Dr. Brenner dies. He got shot. He gets sniped a bunch of times by, like, the military. Just bam, 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 bam. And I still want them to explain how he survived the Demogorgon attack in Season 1. We still ain't got to answer that, but he's dead now. So, unless he somehow survived this, but I doubt it. He's dead. And Eleven goes up to him, and they have a little chat, and then he dies. And they leave, and Eleven is going to do... She's looking for Max. And meanwhile, Hopper and Joyce and them, we get a little more of their reunition. They break out of the prison. They go to a place. They're like, Yuri, let's get out of here. He has a helicopter. They're trying to figure that out. And then they almost... Hopper and Joyce almost bang, which was funny to see. Uh, but they didn't get to because the phone rang. But they get out of there. They have to go back, though. I'll talk about one plotline at a time. So the Hopper and stuff in the plotline in these two episodes, when he... So they go back to the prison, and they fight... Or, I guess, fight. He fights the Demogorgon with a sword, and he chops its head off. Bro, that was awesome. When the Demogorgon jumped at him, and it chopped, he chopped its head off, that was so cool. I was like, bro, this is awesome. That was dope. So love that storyline, and they come back together in the end. And then Eleven story, they are she's back with Mike and all them, and they are looking for Max. So they do that. I guess they intertwine, but Max, Lucas, Erica, and all them like Steve, Robin, Nancy, Eddie, Dustin, they're all gonna go to the Upside Down to stop Vecna. They have a plan, and they are going to they're gonna try and stop it. So they go to the portal, and they, they all go in, and they, like, well, they get weapons first, and Jason talks to Nancy about, like, guns and stuff, and, like, yo, I know Eddie did this, and she's like, no, he didn't, but so they go to the Upside Down, and then Lucas and Max are in this house, and Vegna is in, doing her in the trans, like, the state where she is, like, zoned out or whatever, and Jason comes up, and him and Lucas fight, and, uh, I hate I hate Jason, and then he got split in half by that portal, though, so he's dead as hell, and then, but they're in the Upside Down, and Dustin and Eddie are doing a concert, they're like, you ready to do the concert, or what, the most metal concert ever, or whatever, he says his guitar was made for another dimension, but they're doing the concert, like, -na -na. it's it's a great scene, he says this one's for Chris, Chrissy, this is for you, or whatever, that was nice, I like that a lot, but they're doing it, and then they go back into the place, and then Dustin goes through the gate, and Eddie's about to come through, but he decides not to. And I'm like, I'm watching it, and I'm like, oh no, Eddie, don't do it, bro. But I was so worried. I was like, no, Eddie. And then Eddie goes to distract the Demobats, and they're following him. And then they start swarming him and stuff. And Eddie dies, man. That's when I was crying. I was like, nah. I was like, why? Because Eddie's my second favorite character. He was introduced this season. He became my second favorite character. 
like Eddie was introduced this season, and he was he already became my second favorite character. He's awesome, but he got bit on the neck, and he's bleeding and stuff, and Dustin is just crying, and it's so sad. I was like, no, and I didn't like. I was fifty fifty on if they kill Eddie, but like I don't get why they introduce such a likable character, and then they kill him. Like Eddie was such a great character. Like, I don't get why they would do that, and um. Hoping they somehow bring him back to life for season five, because it's gonna be weird without him now. Like I just have him as such as like he's here now, but he's dead, unfortunately. Rest in peace, Eddie. Great character. Steve survived though, but Dustin is so sad, which I get it. And then um, I was sad too. And then they go to fight Vecna. Max is there hiding in a happy memory, and. Eleven comes out, and she saves Max, and they start fighting Eleven and Vecna. But so Vecna and Eleven are fighting, and yeah, so they're fighting, and Nancy, Steve, and Robin are there, and Nancy is shooting Vecna, and he falls, and he, like, turns to dust. But they say he's not dead, so I guess Vecna. I guess Vecna will be in season five, which is going to be awesome. It's going to be so cool. I'm excited. Hopefully they kill him, though. But Will talks about how he realizes yet yeah, that yeah it was Vecna the whole time. But yeah, so they quote unquote they you can't even see it, but they kill him, I guess. Quotation marks, but that was cool. And then um but uh yeah. That's cool. And um and then there's like a two days later thing. I think it says two days later after Eddie's death scene. And they're out of the Upside Down. Steve is alive, thank goodness. I love Steve. And um, Robin gets to talk to Mickey, which is nice. But yeah, she gets to talk to Mickey, which is nice. That was great. And uh, Steve gets to speak with him. I have to that's nice. But they all go back to the house. And, um, oh, I forgot to talk about Max. Yeah, so after they quote-unquote beat Vecna, Max uh, awakes, but her eyes are like, she's still in the blind state, and her eyes are bleeding, and she goes, yo, I can't see anything, I can't feel anything, and Lucas is all crying, and he's like, I'm just glad you're alive, but yeah, Max doesn't die, which I thought she was, well, she was dead, apparently, he said her heart stopped, I really thought they were gonna kill Max, I was like, oh, damn, they killed Eddie and Max in the same episode, but no, Max lives, which thankfully, but now she's in a coma. Hopefully she'll wake up. She'll probably wake up next season, honestly. But yeah, and then um, I can't remember what happened. Oh yeah, so they're all back together. Hopper and Eleven reunite, and everybody's there. And it's like Jonathan, Nancy, um, Mike, Dustin. Or no, Dustin's not there. He's with Robin and Steve. And he talks to Eddie's uncle, which is a great scene. It's a really sad scene too. How Eddie died a hero. But before they bring him back. Um, but uh, yeah, so they're all together and they walk down this field and they just look out and you just see like grayness, like the upside down is converging into the main one, I guess. So that's going to be cool to see them deal with that in uh, season five. That'll be cool. Like the upside down is merging with our world because it's all like gray and there's the black smoke and like the red lightning is going off also when the lightning or the red lightning was going off when he was playing guitar that was cool eddie was in that early scene but yeah so that was really cool to see 11 and all them doing that but yeah i love these two episodes they were great and i'm excited to see what season five is going to be about hopefully steve does not die in it don't kill steve steve has to live but yeah i love the show so much in this season was fire entirely. I thought Murray might die. Well, luckily he didn't die. I'm glad Murray didn't die because he's so funny. I'm glad he did not die. I had a feeling he would maybe, but he didn't, thankfully. But yeah, I love this season. It was great. I'm going to give it five stars. Honestly, in the whole show, just five stars. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys thought of Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 2, or just the whole season overall because the whole season overall I thought was great. And these last two episodes, they were awesome. Sad that he died. Hopefully they bring him back. And hopefully Steve lives next season. But yeah, it was great. And I liked all the stuff. And everything was dope. But yeah, guys, please give this video a like. I don't even know if you can see me doing it. But I'm doing the thumbs up. Please give this video a like. Please subscribe to so all. And check out some of my other videos. Y'all. Yeah.